long, so, so long Stepped out of the woods Well, I was misunderstood But in light of it all Well, I sit back and check their disguise Their dark, shallow eyes Got lost in the heat So I sit back and watch I see all of them I soon appear I long for the words From this place I'll disappear Strive to deviate from the norm, but collectively sworn to be all the same. Well, to alter image, prosthetics, sworn, their print plastic forms built in the heat of the light. You guys can see it on camera where we're getting so I step to alive the light. See all them my soon appear I long for the words From this place I'll disappear 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 Oh Lord Disappear Peel here. Huh. Who uses that? Oops. Mm, be 
Chicken. So much chocolate chips. I know people will ask, I just wonder what knife they seen, because people are pretty sharp, I think. You guys are pretty sharp. You see I might be using something a little different. This is actually the prototype for um, a short run of Bushcraft USA knives that uh, uh, Turley Knives has done. Uh, there was only a run of 10 plus the prototype. This actually isn't mine. It's, it's my buddy Joe's, and uh, you're going to find his channel below in the links, and I highly recommend that you uh, check that out. Uh, Joe is... Uh, Hands down is all skills, no BS type of videos. Um, if you haven't caught them, you're really missing out. Um, we did like a little knife swap between each other because uh, we're pretty good buddies. And uh, he got my uh, Adventure Sworn Bushcraft USA knife. Um, two different makers doing their own special runs. The first one was done at 50, the other one was done as 10. And this is the prototype was given to him by Iz, or, or Turley I should say, some of you that don't know him. And uh, his is a full convex, well, excuse me, it's called a varied convex grind. Uh, it's not a Scandi like my usual one. Uh, on a slightly different type of convex grind than my full height that I have on that other knife, green and gold. And like I said, it's a prototype, so it's uh, 
It's not exactly how it finished off, I don't believe. Is can correct me, but um, it's pretty close. So I've been using it today. It's got a little dirty. It's got bacon grease on it. It's got some wood. Did a little splitting with it. Um, there's only a tiny bit of video, which I probably will put before this. So, um, you know, I don't film everything, obviously. And this is not a this isn't a review, guys. This isn't a, a knife review or opinion or something like that. Um, this is just Joe and I swapping knives to have fun. And he's got a bunch of videos using mine, so you can check out his channel and see that uh, after this. So uh, I just thought I'd show it. Um, it really makes awesome hard use knives, no bullshit, um, which is cool. And I've enjoyed using it today, and I'll probably get it out in another outing before I end up sending it back to Joe and he sends me mine. And this is uh, this was field tested already by Iz, but the one I sent to Joe uh, was brand new out of the box, so to speak. I'd finished the handle on it, and uh, he was the first one to put it to use, which is really cool. Uh, that's about it guys not sure I got much else to talk about in this video so uh, thanks for watching um, yep all right guys I made this fire still and uh, for those of you guys on the forums which is a lot of you so uh, everybody liked it and I, I called it the fisherman's fire steel because uh, it's got a huge section of cork in the center and it's capped with uh, a two stack of leather at the bottom and a three stack at the top and a clasp which you see in the beginning of the video now this is for guys who aren't on the forum who checked it out big question was will it actually float so why you'd be starting a fire that close to water who i have no idea but uh it was it was a cool thing to try anyway so the test was is it actually going to float so i have no idea so we're about to find out i i honestly i don't think it's going to but we'll find out in a second nope doesn't float it bobs but ultimately drops to the bottom so uh, it turns out and it's just for looks the the fire seal rod is just too heavy well there it is and uh, that is in a nutshell so get best uh, best to make use of the clasp at the top and keep it secured to yourself it'd probably work with a smaller diameter first though. yeah maybe if I did something this large on a yeah, like a like a like a three sixteenths force, yeah. you know, something Quarter smaller, inch. like a standard, uh, you know, LTF fire steel or something, or LM, excuse me. Mm. Uh, it might work, but this one is just just too heavy. But it might give you a second <laughs> to get a hold of it before it goes. So that's it, guys, and uh, it's just it's just it just looks good. That's it.